And welcome back. Well, do you struggle with chronic sinus problems? Today, we're going to give you a guide to the best options available so you can put an end to your suffering. Yeah, Dr. Mother Kandula is a board certified ear, nose, and throat surgeon with the Sinus Center at Advent. Great to see Good you to this see you. morning. Great to be Good morning here. to you. Um, I, I always, you know, we talked about second opinions, and mm -hmm. I always feel like if I were to say to any doctor that I have, oh, I, I'd like to get a second of opinion, mm -hmm. that I would offend him or her, that it would be like I was saying, I don't trust your, right. your opinion. And you might. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's. I mean, we're human. I guess I'd say I certainly hear lots of sort of um, not horror stories, but yeah, that kind of a, a feel when I see patients for second opinions. I, I think it, it's a little bit like an elephant in the room sometimes, uh, where there certainly is nothing wrong with it. It's it's sometimes the right thing to do. Part of that's just being comfortable and confident with whomever is treating you. And if you don't yeah. have that confidence or comfort level, then by all means, you know, seeking out another opinion is fine. And you know, for my patients, sometimes I think you know maybe. Um, either I sense it or they sense it that you know maybe this just isn't the right thing or maybe or maybe they're they're looking for something that we're not talking about as far as other options those sorts of things so we try to pride ourselves in providing all the options that are out there but you know each person needs to to kind of find their own pathway towards help. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of times, not all the places do the new and innovative sinus surgeries, and that's one thing that you do a lot. So you see a lot of those second opinions yourself. A lot of them are coming to you. Right. And it, do you think that's because of the 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 offers that you have, the the innovations that you have in the surgeries? I think so. I mean, it's hard. part of that's just you know, f folks kind of know that we exist, and that's mm -hmm. part of why we're here is to, to let folks we exist. Part of it's because we do things differently, um, and differently than really any other practice really in the state, and so. Our main focus is trying to get somebody better. Our focus is trying to take them, trying to do things in the least invasive manner possible to get somebody doing better. And so, therefore, we have a lot of options that other practices don't offer because they don't have that same mindset, which is fine. I mean, it, it, there's nothing wrong with other mindsets, right. but our mindset is very particular and very patient focused and very much focused on, on trying to do the best and trying to do it in the, in the least um, aggressive way possible. For people who suffer with chronic sinus problems, I, I think it becomes very much a quality of life um, uh, issue. What about people who've had a treatment or have already had some sort of surgery but haven't gotten the relief that has led to a better quality of life? Do you see them? Are, are mm -hmm. there still other things that you can do or try to help them get the relief? Oftentimes. And I think lots of folks get, you know, um, I think a lot of folks come in and they are sort of surprised that we have options that they haven't heard about mm -hmm. and they're surprised to learn about some of those options and sometimes disappointed that they didn't learn those options before they had something done. Mm -hmm. And so once they've had something done, if it hasn't gotten somebody where they want to be, um, then, you know, it depends. It depends on what they look like, depends on what, what their anatomy looks like and what, what's going on for them. But oftentimes, most of the time, we can offer something that's going to move them forward. And so, again, I think for a lot of folks, it's sort of having that... Um, uh, just trusting that there might be something else, another pathway that might get them moving forward. And um, yeah, I mean, I think for me, it's sort of, to me, if I see folks, somebody as a second opinion, which I see all the time, it's sort of disappointing to me that I didn't get to that person and say, hey, yeah. you know, first. And it sounds, I don't know what it sounds like, but it's the truth. The truth of the matter is I feel like mm -hmm. we can offer all the options that are out there. And if if somebody's seeking out an opinion from a, a place that doesn't have those options, they're not going to hear about those options, yep. and therefore they're not going to get those options. And so that that that's not to me um, the best medicine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah, and so to have all of those right off the bat is a really ben a big benefit to people. How often do you feel like the options that you provide for people are less invasive than what they would have done elsewhere? Um, most of the time. So you know, basically, when we talk through, if somebody if somebody has issues enough that they need something done to to correct them, we're in a talk them up the ladder of, you know, one option. A lot of times with the stuff I deal with is to do nothing. You know, the, this is what you've got. You, you do nothing. We talk about medication options. We talk about in-office options, which mm -hmm. a lot of times that's where we're, we're, you know, steering folks towards these days because we can do a lot of things very quickly, efficiently, uh, no downtime kind of stuff. But if that's not the right for, fit for somebody, we'll talk about going up the ladder surgery-wise. And it's really finding the right fit for each individual person. So somebody, some folks may say, you know, I you know, don't, want, don't want to have anything done in the office. I don't want to be you know, sort of messing around and have, or you know, dealing with you, messing around with me, that kind of thing. You know, some folks would rather avoid surgery at all costs. Some folks, I mean, some folks come in and literally it's just, I just want to get better. I don't, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know, I'm, you know, I'm not a doctor kind of thing. And, and that's fine. So there's nothing wrong with any, any of those viewpoints. Well, and I think people, they see a surgeon and they think, oh, that means I'm going to have to have surgery. But mm -hmm. the, rea the, the reality is you're a specialist in this. You're going to try the least conservative thing first. And mm -hmm. I think along with providing all the options and you doing so many of the procedures, um, 
yourself and more than other practices in Wisconsin, you've also had mm -hmm. the surgeries yourself. Sure. So you're coming from that perspective, both as a patient and a doctor. Right. Yeah, which, you know, it's true. I mean, I've been there. So I guess to me, you know, being there and, you know, I think we talked about this in the past is, you know, it, it, it's I, it's impossible for, you to, for me to know what I would have done back then without the knowledge I have, if that makes any sense, because um, I knew of all, I, I knew all my options at that. I had my surgery in 2011. I knew all the options that are out there. I knew the pros and cons of each of those options. And I, I felt like, you know, I wanted to go for um, the surgical options. So that's what I went mm -hmm. for at that point. So for me, it was a long thought process. If I didn't know those options, I don't know what I would have done. Uh, and, um, you know, I guess that's that's sort of the bottom line. It's I, I've been there. I, I've dealt with it. And I'm on the other side of things now, uh, which is good for me. But I'd say for folks who are looking for getting out on the other side of things, it's just a matter of figuring out how to get them there. Yeah. Mm. Seeing the right person. And you don't have to live with it. You don't have to suffer. So here's the information you have right now for a free public program on in-office balloon sinuplasty. That's at 6 o'clock tomorrow. So you can learn more about it. It's at the Crown Plaza Hotel and Conference. Conference Center right on Highway 100 and Watertown Plank Road. You can register by calling the number on your screen, which is 414-771-6780. That's also how you can contact the Sinus Center. They're located on North Mayfair Road in Tosa at that same phone number. That's how you register. Also, how you contact them for an appointment or advent.md. Thanks, doctor. Thank you.